Good evening and welcome to Wednesday Night V8s Online Wednesday Night Trucks. Uh, brought to you by Sim Instruments and V8s Online Superstore. I'm your host tonight, Clayton Brooks, and in the commentary box with me is Des Helm. How are you, Des? Uh, good, Clayton. Uh, looking forward to tonight. Uh, should be some good racing, hopefully, from these boys. Yeah, um, hopefully we can get a, quite a few green laps running. It's a very tough circuit, Darlington. That's where we're at tonight, and uh, uh, it's a very it's been named as uh, the track too hard to tame. So uh, might see a bit of action tonight. Yeah, Darlington Raceway. It's um, an oldie but a goodie. It's um, actually opened up in 1950, so we've been the nice cars have been going there for quite some time. But as you said, yeah, nicknamed the tough. The track too tough to tame, so it uh, should be really good. I've seen a lot of guys out practicing this week, so um, hopefully it's a little bit cleaner than it was last week. And uh, like we mentioned, uh, guys are still finding their feet in this series, so uh, I'm sure it'll be a little bit better anyway than last week. Yeah, and uh, on that, we'll go to the standings. Um, after one week, we've got Jason Martin on the lead with uh, 180. Wayne C. Burke follows him in second on 170. Stephen Clark in 161. Timothy Jackson in 151. Rob Lee, 142. Mitchell Abrell, 132. Tony Autridge, Simon Walker, Luke Betts, Wolf Style. And then John Emerson, Nathan Britton, Chris Brooks, Shannon Wright, Julian Oligo. Sorry, I'm not even going to try that one. I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't. I'm sorry. Uh, Andrew right. Rand in 17th, Shane Van Gisbergen in 18th, Wayne Anderson in 19th, and Marlon McMullen rounding out the top 20. Yeah, it was uh, definitely an eventful race to uh, kick off the season, and um, obviously they're the standings of the, where they finished last week, but uh, there'll be a few guys out there tonight trying to improve their championship position, get uh, some early gains. Yeah, it's still early, and with um, iRacing, with the eight-round count, they get the four drop rounds. So, yeah, still early days in the championship for these guys. The guys are just circulating, circulating at the moment, uh, doing their warm-up, uh, getting used to the um, the track the track with uh, different cars around them, the guys are going to be racing. Uh, trying to get a feel for it yeah it's quite an interesting track this darlington raceway it's um it's actually a egg shaped uh just over a mile track uh, 1.2 mile so that's about 2.1 kilometers in our language but um yeah turns one and two are actually quite longer than three and four so yeah it's it's, it's a little tricky and uh the racing line is quite tight I've noticed um, a lot of guys prefer the um, high high racing line, sort of running along the wall pretty much through the corners at this track, which is a little bit, I suppose, unusual. Most most other tracks offer a low racing line, but you'll see a lot of guys stick to the high line tonight. Yeah, predominantly most of them will be there, but you'll see a lot of guys getting rather creative trying to get past some people there. We got the starting grid up on the screen now. It's um, Todd Galvin off pole position, uh, Mitch Abrahal in second, Wayne Burke in third, Simon Walker fourth, Tony Autridge in fifth, Timothy Jackson sixth, Nathan okay, Britton comes starts out of seven, here. James Robson in eighth, Jason Gratton in ninth. Uh, this is going to test me. Hanu yeah, Etul Palta. I think I got that right. I'm not yeah, sure. Um, right. He's in 10th. Hey, Paul, Justin Laxton in 11th. Hey, Luke, Luke Betts hey, 12th. Hey, Jack Blackhall in 13th. Hey, guys, Paul guys. Courage 14th. Chris Brooks out of 15th. Mr. Courage, Michael Schreyer out of 16th. Robert Casey 17th. Uh, 18th is Scott Corners. 19th Wayne Anderson. And 20th this, Ben Darling. We're just waiting for the uh, guys to get out on the track and uh, pace cars just started rolling around now. So I'll do the formation lap and we'll get, we'll get going. 
Yeah, 20 cars for the field, so still a pretty good turnout from these guys. We thought maybe with the shorter track and the very tough track, we might get a couple of drop-offs, but um, a couple of big names not quite there, but uh, hopefully they'll be back later in the uh, season. Yeah, it's definitely a track some guys might just uh, prefer, just to use as a drop round and uh, concentrate on other things for the week. But um, obviously the guys that are racing tonight are going to get that little jump in the championship early on in the series. Yeah, as the lights are out on the pace car, they'll um, they'll take the green this next lap through. The pace right, car up, dives off. It's up to Todd now. And they're off. Green, green, green. Todd away well. Yeah, Todd's got a good jump there with uh, Mitch Abrahall and Wayne Burke following closely behind in the one. We've got Timothy Ooh. Jackson rubbing along the wall through one and two. Oh, we got cars everywhere. Oh, great save there by Mitch. Yeah, he got very loose car made out of one into the two there, and he was managed to hold it. Oh, I think he actually got a little bit of a tap there from Wayne C. Burke. So, yeah, very well done by him. And Tim's still in the wall. I did mention running the high line, but that's a bit, bit uh, taking it to the extreme, running around the white wall. But Ooh, cars everywhere. Well, drivers are starting to find their feet. A couple of battles there. We've got a breakaway at the front with Todd Galvin and Wayne C. Burke. Yeah, they've really uh, stretched their legs in these opening laps at the moment. We've got... Um... Tony Autry sandwich between Simon Walker and uh, Timothy Jackson with Nathan Britton behind at the moment too is proving a nice little battle. We've got Tony Autry's moves down the inside of Simon oh, Walker, but things better of it. The yellow flag is out. We got someone around. Justin Laxton's gone around. Oh, and yeah, he's, yeah. he's got heavy damage too. Big contact with Luke Betts there. Yeah, they had a little touch and uh, sort of separated and then come back together again and it just sent him straight into the wall and a, bit, a big slide in front of the field. Uh, 13 had nowhere to go. Um, yeah, 13. 13. Jake, Jake, Jake Blackhall. Blackhall and Chris books in behind there in the 15. Lucky. Oh. Yeah. Very unlucky there for Chris in the high rollers truck. Had nowhere to go. Well, yeah, that's we just, got, we I was got gonna, four laps. <laughs> yeah, four laps. I was going to say, it's a shame for Chris Brooks. He puts a lot of time and effort into um, his oval racing and... Uh, He's, he does car doesn't appear to have too much damage, not from where I'm looking anyway, but uh, I suppose we'll see if he dies with a pit lane. Yeah, I believe he's in pit lane now. Followed by the 14, the 13. Yeah, done. Of it, so. Yeah, the first few laps were promising. Uh, there was a couple of good battles forming up. In the 
Packers just followed up in behind the pace car now. So Todd Gavin still leads with uh, Wayne C. Burke in behind. Simon Walker's jumped up to third there. Tony Ortridge still sandwiched by the Powerbomb boys with uh, Timothy Jackson in behind him. Nate so Britton, Mitchell Abrell, Hanu is in eighth, Robinson in ninth, and Grattan in tenth. Are you going to have a go at Hanu's last name, Des? No, nah, Hanu it is. <laughs> uh, for you, those of you that don't know, we, um, we've got our first final, I believe it is, for the Race to Reality series. Yeah. Oh, it's, no, uh, sorry, it's still the heats. Yeah, it's the heats. Uh, I'm on straight up in the trucks tonight, uh, so don't don't go anywhere. Stick around. Uh, guys will be back to broadcast the race to reality. I think uh, around 9 o'clock, I think it starts. Yeah, 9 o'clock. And every, uh, they'll be racing to try and get that seat in the uh, the Aussie Legends car for Homebush. So. Yeah, what an opportunity, eh? Um, go from your sim racing, you get an opportunity to the race against the best sim racers, and uh, when it gets a, a seat around Homebush, actual racing, or Aussie racing car, it's a... Uh... got the pace car off here. Todd pulls off, and a little bit better start there from Wayne, so... And he's got the third high line as well. Oh, oh Nathan Britton. Some the Bangs into the wall. Nathan Britton was hard into the wall into turn one. Oh, cars. Cars everywhere. The 12 car of James Robinson got it way loose off the two. Ben Darley's, ben Darley's heading for the pit lane. No, uh, he's gone back out, but he's uh, had a massive moment. Got Justin still crabbing around the track, so. He's just come out of the pits trying not to um, go too many laps down, but he's out the he might be lucky to make any of speed. Tony Autridge is monster in the back of uh, Todd Galvin at the moment. He's uh, Todd just seemed to um, not really had the pace after that restart. Wayne Burke's really opened up a quite a margin to him. But Simon Walker looking under Mitchell Abel. Sorry, the other way around. My bad. Simon able to hold the high line there. It's brought uh, Hanu up behind those two going side by side for the lap. Brought uh, Jason Gratton and Hanu up to him. Chaberwell goes the inside line again. Yeah, battles everywhere around the track at the moment. We've even got Luke Betts going underneath Jake Crackle. Thinks twice about it. It's going to prove difficult this low line to get past. Um, the guys are take, putting the nose in down low, but uh, they just can't maintain that momentum through the corner. We've got our leader, Wayne C. Burke, and he's just stretched out to a half second lead. The more Tony Autrich puts uh, pressure on Galvin, the more he's going to drive away from it. Yeah, these, these three are definitely uh, showing the pace at the moment. They've got a full second back to four from Tony Autridge. So uh, these, these guys are sort of stretched out a little bit from the rest of the field. They'll be hoping it goes green for the rest of the race. Just had Simon Walker get past Jackson. And now Averill is uh, looking to make that move too. There was a couple of laps in the making that, uh, you can see was, the writing was on the wall. I'll see if the director can get a um, onboard shot looking forward of this 
these battles just Mitch, to see. Mitch Abrahals just made the move too past uh oh. And Walker's at a moment, so he's going to streak fast in. Yeah, if we can get it on board, just to see how much these trucks do move around, especially off turn two. Well, Timothy Jackson's in real trouble. He's bleeding positions at the moment. Uh, Hanu's got past him, Jason Gratton, but he's way loose on the inside, and all the good work comes unstuck for Jason Gratton. Oh, he's held onto it nicely. Just kept it off that wall. We're on board with Timothy here. Timothy seems to be he's um, getting way loose. Yeah, he's getting really loose, and he's just rubbing that wall constantly uh, through the corners. It's taken a lot of time off his laps. Tony Ortridge is still still all over the back of Todd Galvin, but they've they've caught up a little bit to Wayne Burke. Um, I'm sure, if Wayne's had a bit of a moment, a slide or something, to bring these guys back up to him. No, these boys are just racing very hard, so... We've got caution. Oh, we've had some teammates together. Ah, uh, we've got... Jake. We've got Blackpool sticking it underneath Jackson, and unfortunately for Luke Betts, he's... Just come along and play out his teammate. Yeah, a bit of an innocent bystander there, but uh, I'll tell you what, both cars got quite a bit of damage. That's nearly going to be uh, park the truck up there for Jackson. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, car 13 of Jake Blackwall just he, he got in there, but these cars really do move around on this track. Jake, I mean, Jake would have seen uh, Timothy bleed in those positions a couple of laps earlier, and he would have been uh, probably a little bit impatient to uh, get get the position to uh, keep up with the other guys. But um, yeah, just unfortunate incident for everyone involved, really. Yeah, these, these trucks are going at about 150 mile through the corner, so they're not they're not slow, so a little you know, just a little bit of a wiggle can can obviously cause three per three people's uh, end of the night. We got the leaders in pit lane, uh, Wayne Burke and Todd Galvin, Tony Ortridge, Mitch Overall. Looks like they're all diving in. Get a fresh set of uh, rubber for the run home. We'll watch to see, uh, we've got one car only taken two. Nathan Britton. Nathan Britton's made huge time in that pit stop. Both the both the powerbomb cars have taken two. The rest have taken four. Yeah, Simon Walker as well. They've uh, both jumped all those guys that were in front. Wayne Burke's coming up behind Simon Walker, and then Tony Ortridge. So Tony Ortridge has made got the jump on uh, Todd Galvin out of those pit stops. Yeah, Ortridge's crew getting a second best, uh, a second better than uh, Galvin's crew there, so. Yeah. Well, you got now all we the damaged cars making it in the pit lane. Uh, We've got Jake Blackhall and Justin Laxton, Michael Schreyer. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, one, under a caution for the NASCAR, they actually let the lead lap cars go in on the first lap by, and then the second lap by, they let the lap cars, just to uh, lessen the confusion, the traffic on pit road, make it safer for the pit crews. Obviously, we don't have little men out there, but we keep the rules, so... One day we might get the little men out there. No, oh, I hope so. We, we've got movable cones now, so why not have movable people? <laughs> it's true. Well, we've actually um, got Paul Courage now leading this race from uh, Wayne Anderson. Uh, two guys that were sort of towards the rear of the field. Um, they've elected not to pit, and... 
they're going to try and hold on for as long as they can, but it's going to be a tough ask with Nathan Britton, Simon Walker, Wayne Burke all behind with fresh rubber. Yeah, they took rubber on the first portion, so... Uh, we just got reports that Wayne Anderson's truck might be a little bit damaged and he's asking Nathan Britton to have a look at it, so... That's why you see Nathan there just popping up, having a look for him. On a lap to go now. Lights are out on the pace car and the uh, cars file up. Yeah, we'll have uh, 14 laps to go on this restart. Yeah, time's flying below compared to last week. Yeah, I think we're only up to lap 8 or something last week. No, it is a great little track. Pace car's going to fall off. Yeah, the pace car's in now and... Uh, Courage will set the... Sorry mate, you go. I was going to say the same thing, mate, before Courage will uh, set the pace of the restart. Oh, they're away. Walker very slow at the top line. And Nathan Britton's going to have to watch for uh, Wayne Berkey, because Nathan Britton only took two tight. We were pretty sure Wayne took all four. Wayne moves down the inside of Nathan Britton. Very hard to hold that line though through that corner. Tony Autridge now has a look. Oh, and they have a little touch with uh, Wayne Burke, Tony Autridge. Bring Simon Walker up alongside. Oh. That was a great move by Wayne Burke. He really threw it in there. He's uh, he managed to hold on too. Yeah, Anderson getting balked by Nathan Britton putting it underneath him. Yeah, Anderson, uh, Burke there got Nathan as well in that turn too, so he's on it. We got the caution out. Out. Yeah, um, got huge oh, damage no. to um, James Robson and Mitch Overhaul at the moment. Just having a look at what happened. Oh, ah, we've actually got Avril into Hanu which has caused the drivers to check up. And I think Jake Blackhall was just a little bit slow to check up and he just, just touched the back. And uh, it sent, I'm not sure who it was he sent around, but it sent it right around in front of the other cars. Oh, we've actually got Avril coming up and the 12 car, they just come together. Probably not the tightest of rejoins there from Avril. It really looked like he could have kept it on the apron a little bit longer and... Um, unfortunate though, Robinson did bounce off the wall. Yeah, <coughs> yeah, um, sorry, my voice is going on. Uh, Mitch Avril could have kept it down a little bit lower uh, for a bit longer, but um, probably caught the guys racing off guard a little bit. Oh, we've got 10 to go. Yeah, we've got Paul Courage. He, he managed to uh, maintain the lead for those couple of laps there. Uh, Wayne Burke's moved up a couple. He's moved into second spot just in front of uh, Nathan Britton now. Yeah, Anderson just... He just went backwards because everyone else went forwards. His truck had no drive, so... 
Uh, we've added some gains here. Obviously, with Paul not taking that pit last time, he's jumped up 13 spots. But the same with Wayne Anderson, but Britain jumped up four spots from where he started. And same with Blackhall. And some losers, obviously. Aberhall down 12. He's going to drop some more as the lappers come by. Luke Betts and Laxton out of the race, seven and nine laps down. Some crazy incidences here tonight, so... Yeah, it can be a cruel old track, this one. Uh, it can go wrong really quick at Tarlington. It's, um, as we just saw, uh, you think you're sitting pretty, then all of a sudden you got cars everywhere. It's um, a pretty tough track. Yeah, a lot of these drivers are starting to realise why they really do call it the track too tough to tame. Yeah, well, we were talking about before there, there's uh, the race to reality with um, at 9 o'clock, so pretty much as soon as this race finishes, uh, we're going to be going to race to reality. Watch, uh, I think it's the MX-5, I'm not sure what track they're at tonight, but I'm just hearing it's Oran Park they're at, the MX-5, so uh, good car, good track, should be an interesting and fun race. Yeah, definitely a full full night for us here at V8 Online, but happy to bring it to all of you. Um, we should have Daniel back in the seat for that one, so he'll be uh, hosting news for tonight. I'll give you a couple more track infos while we're under caution for this one. Um, I'll give you the banking degree, seeing though it looks quite high. Um, in ones and one and two, it's actually a 25 degree banking, and three and four being the shorter one, they've uh, dropped it down to 23 degree banking. So there you go. Still pretty steep. I wouldn't like to walk up it. No. Hopefully our director's shown you some gyros because it'll give you a great understanding of um, how, you know, the kind of loads that these drivers will be under. There you go, we're going on board. The man sitting in fourth, Autridge. Pace car's in. Eight to go. Uh, you've gone offline to me. Sorry, buddy. All right. Everyone jumping into their... Yeah, they've followed into single file. Single single A Simon Walker all over the back of Tony Orthridge. We've got Gavin trying to make his way back up the field in the middle of the pack there. And he's sitting in eight. Paul, Gar Paul, Car oh, sorry. Paul Courage is doing quite well with um, older tyres and the guys around him. He's still maintaining the lead. Yeah, he would have, let, let, that brake would have let his tyres cool down. And I've been noticing his line. He's been going in low, letting it up. And we've got oh. Nathan Britton around. Nathan Britton into the wall hard. Oh, and he's on his roof. He's flipped at his... It looked like he'd regathered it and then he went straight back into the wall. Ah, oh, he's hit the safer barrier. Unfortunate. He got right up behind Wayne Burke, and uh, seems to just get a little bit, uh, a little bit loose, and it's pushed him into the wall. Yeah, but then he's hit the um, banked barrier, and it's flipped him straight on his roof. Uh, not something he would have been expecting. Yeah, he's actually got up and actually clipped. Yeah, that was a bit. Yeah, he just did lift a little bit more, but um, unfortunate. Um, NASCAR only really mandate that the safer barrier has to be around the corners and on the infield on some parts of the track. But um, here at Darlington, it really sticks out into the track. So he's clipped that and the car's gone over. We're getting um, some frustrating reports from the drivers at the moment. There are the safety cars, I think. We'll probably get one flying lap once the safety car pulls back into pit lane. You'll actually notice on the replay where 
we were on board with Nathan, you can see the safer barrier actually come out. And all that is is another part of the wall brought out with some basically just a styrofoam product, wedges of styrofoam in there. And that will actually cushion, I think, over half of the impact for drivers. So still hurts the cars though, so I'm telling the um Paul Courage is in the box seat here. He's uh gonna have cool tires on the restart. He's um the strategy's really paid off for him, pitting uh, getting those pitting early and getting those tires rather than uh, waiting for the later caution. Yeah, that's it. Sometimes it's not just about your driving skill. Sometimes you have to be good at uh, the old poker face, pull a move out here and there. Yeah, but he's kept it clean. He um, started the race in 14th position, so uh, not a bad, um, not a bad effort by Paul. Yeah, I was commentating on his line, and it's it's actually quite a fast line. It's um, yeah, you come in, let the car drift out, and then you get it turned, and you're on the power earlier. So even though Wayne can get his nose up through the corner, he's he's he has to wait longer before you can get the throttle on and. In this style of racing, that's what it's about. Looks like we'll get a green white check it here, so. The car will take the. Lights are still on in the safety car, so, uh. We'll have another lap yet. Yeah, we should have one to go next time, so that means that the guys will take one lap and then get the white lap. Should have some action here. There's a couple of hungry drivers in the line there. Yeah, you can tell just the uh, manner of the driving the cars at the moment. Tony Autridge and uh, Diamond Walker back in third and fourth spot. They're um they're real keen to get this. I think uh, Tony will uh, rate his chances here on this restart, having this inside line on Wayne Burt. Yeah, we've got we've got full courage off the front row with Wayne C. Burke up high. Tony Autridge down low in the second and Walker up top and the third row is Gavin and Anderson so and they've really been up a couple of times to crash out really the class of the field so we'll see how these boys go yeah Todd Galvin's done pretty well he come back uh, he lost quite a few spots in the in his pit stop but um he's come up he's come back through the field pretty good yeah so we'll have one to go sorry guys Math not my strongest, but one to go. Pace car goes in as poor courage controls the field at the moment. Autry right on the tailgate. Courage. And Paul's gone. That's a good start by Paul. Oh, he's gone. I mean, he's pitted. Wayne's able, able to come down and cut off Tony Autry from sticking the oh, nose up inside. Oh, around. He saved it. Oh, Wayne Burke's had a massive Oh, moment. we got cars around. We got cars around. He stayed... Stayed green, though. But Tony Orchard's all over the back of Paul Courage. As Paul Courage crosses the line, he takes the win. Great strategy well by Paul well. Courage. Ortridge in second and Walker in third. We actually we actually had on the turn one and two before that we had uh, car number one, Todd Gavin getting really out of shape, and that just chain reacted a couple of people. I believe we had Wayne Anderson up into Gavin. Yeah, it looks like uh, Wayne Anderson just got into the back of Todd Gavin a little bit and unsettled the car. And then coming off of two, we had Bratton 
They got Wilders. He's trying to get the run underneath the 9-8 of Anderson. Yeah, massive slide and end up hitting the inside wall. He yeah, was very lucky not to slide back up into um, onto the track in front of all those cars coming off turn two. Yeah, congrats to Paul Courage, round two winner. Yeah, no, well done to the top three. Uh, Paul Courage, Tony Autry, Simon Walker. Um, Proved, proved the class of the field tonight, kept it clean and uh, brought it home for the podium positions. Uh, just behind those guys we had uh, Wayne Burt coming fourth, Wayne Anderson fifth, Jake Blackhall coming sixth, Michael Schreyer seventh, Todd Galvin eighth, Jason Grattan ninth, uh, Scott, Scott Connors tenth, Timothy Jackson, 11th. Nathan Britton, 12th after his big rollover. Robert Casey, 13th. Ben Darley, 14th. James Robinson, 15th. 16th was Hanu. I'm not going to say that last name again. 17th was Mitchell Abrahul. 18th, Chris Brooks. 19th, Justin Laxon. And Luke Betts coming 20th, 17 laps down. Well... Well, that's it from Darlington Raceway for the uh, Sim Instruments Thursday Night Trucks. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll see you next week. Um, don't forget, stay around for Race to Reality in about six minutes. Uh, your race winner was Paul Courage.